fellow work today a review of significant figures. So the addition rule. You might remember the addition rule, the subtraction rule. Adam. Claire. Excellent. And what's the last point that you need to make? Something about like the Yeah, but go ahead, Claire. What about the decimal? Is it like something about the last one? Yes, the weakest. So if you look up here, the weakest one is which number? 12, the 349, or the 8? 340. Yeah, the 3, 349 is the 8. It's the weakest because of the 0. Yeah. There's only one following the decimal. So this is measuring the tenths. A weaker measurement compared to the other two, which is measuring in the hundreds, right? So you're going to express your answer in the tenths, because the weakest <coughs> is what we express our answers in. We don't express our answer in the strongest. So that's how you avoid, like, depression, too. You don't say, oh, we're going to, like, win every football game, and then you go out and, like, have struggle, like, winning one. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just not Easter. I mean, other schools, too, that are, you know, um, struggle a little bit. Like, um, like Ballard and they struggle a little bit. Both these numbers, which of the two is the smaller number? 3 times 10 to the ninth or 5 times 10 to the 10th? 3 times 10 to the ninth, right? So I always mess with the weaker, mess with the smaller number. So I'm going to take my 3 times 10 to the ninth, and I'm going to divide this by 10. They give me 0.3 times 10 to the 10. Because I added the 9 plus 1 to get the 10. Does everybody see how I did that? Okay, so now my exponents are the same and I can add them. So I'm going to put this on the bottom just because it's a little easier. So I'm going to say 5 times 10 to the 10 plus 0.3 times 10 to the 10. What's that end up being? What's that answer then? Did they say it was 4.7? Yeah. It should be 5.3 times 10 to the 10th, right? Yeah, five point. They're just saying they're saying five because of rounding. That's what they're doing here. So they're playing the rounding rule on you. So you know, ACT would be this, and then people would bubble this in, be like, "Oh, I'm right." But no, the answer is going to be five times ten to the ten because of significant figures. So you really have to pay attention on the ACT. You really got to be alert to what's going on or you'll bubble in the wrong answer. You won't even think about it. They'll have two of them on there, and you'll be like, oh, that's right, but actually it's wrong. This is the correct answer. I see that? Because of these true numbers here. That's a good point. All right, so... Can I show this one? Please.
Should just put the answer right there. Yeah, round it to the correct. Yeah. Point three four. Excellent. Very good. All right. Three sixty nine point eight. Additionally, accurate and precise measurements rely on the skill of the person using the instrument. The user, the user must be trained and use proper techniques. Okay, very good. Want to read the next paragraph? Hi, <coughs> Ron. Precision is limited by the tools available. For example, a digital clock that displays the time as 1247 or 1248 can record the time only to the nearest minute. With the stopwatch, however, you might record time time to the nearest hundred second. As scientists have developed better measuring devices, they have been able to make more precise measurements. Of course, for measurements to be both accurate and precise, the measuring devices must be in good working. Yeah, finish that, that paragraph right there. Additionally, accurate and precise measurements rely on the skill of the person using the instrument. The user must be trained and use proper techniques. How would you round this number to five significant figures? Two, three significant figures. In each case, you need to look at the digit that follows the desired last significant figure. Round to five digits, first identify the fifth significant figure in, the, in this case, and then look at the number to its right in this case. More. Okay, very good. So I will, you know, periodically video you reading because in the future you most likely are going to be filmed and placed on YouTube and sales, like you're selling a product or you're just coming up with a new idea. And you can reference it there. So YouTube has kind of changed a lot of things. Also, you're going to see like Facebook Live and Snapchat Live where everybody's going live now and you're just kind of like... You mean Instagram? Snapchat Live? Oh, it? it probably will be. It wouldn't surprise me the way things change. Um, everybody wants to draw on the audience, right? So if the technology's there, there probably will be that. Um, so be aware that this technology is so new like... Facebook Live, if you would said that like three years ago, I'd have been like, no, nobody used that. Nobody will use that. But today, I mean, video is becoming a lot more funny. Mainstream. Mainstream, right? Okay, very good. So we're reviewing this homework. And how about 15? Accuracy and precision. All right, so 15 is 13, 12.738, 12.7835. D would be 12.78346. Anybody add 16? Courtney? A, um, 
you and each of your classmates measure the same copper cylinder on the same scale, you would probably have to the very precise measurements. But what if the scale had been previously damaged by an object that was too large for it? Your precise measurements 